happy Saturday. I'm starting on a Saturday today. I'm quickly doing my makeup here in the car before Patty comes in and the car starts moving because we have our second Pearl Beauty Masterclass today. And it's in Belfast. The first one was in uh, up north, like closer to us. So we're now in Belfast and they both sold out in like, the first one was like five minutes, this one was two minutes. So I think we're gonna do one in London, Dublin, and then I'm back in Canada. So one in Canada this year. Oh, I only woke up like an hour ago. So I'll show you the outfit and everything once we get there. Cause once Patty starts moving, here he is. <laughs> There is no way I can film because I get car sick. Oh, lock the door. <laughs> Password. <laughs> All right, we are in Boundary in Belfast. It's a great space where you can come for drinks. We have some cinnamon swirls, flour and dough, local business did all of them, coffee, tea, and we are set up with some men out front, <laughs> but the lighting in here is unreal. We have our little setup for everyone, a mirror, almost dropped the camera. With Bethany, hi. <laughs> the kids and our model Shuka <laughs> over here. Hello. Also babysitter. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Lip smackers. Okay. Oh, I love the sparkles. <laughs> aftermath of a masterclass. I always feel like most of my energy is in those couple of hours because I want to really make it a memorable experience for people who come, who spend time with us, and the whole point of the masterclasses is to be interactive and to get to know the customers and supporters of Pearl Beauty. So I like to keep it small, like 30 and under so that I can like break away from the girl, like the model that I'm doing the makeup on, but also get to, you know, be a little bit more hands-on with everyone who's there. If they have questions or need to be shown something, I can do that where if it got bigger, I just, I don't know, I don't really get when master classes get so large and they're just wearing a mic and you're watching someone do makeup where I'm like, can't you just watch a YouTube tutorial for that? So that's just my opinion. I always want it to be an interactive style where you actually are involved doing your makeup while I do makeup and then I'm getting to know you as well. So it was so much fun. Then we went to Flout for pizza, which uh, we had heard so much buzz about. It's literally across the building, across from where the uh, master class was at. We are home. Patty's taking the kids out so I can just like rest for a little bit, um, just because my energy is a wee bit low. And then I think we're going to have some gin and tonics and nachos and guacamole for dinner. That's what I said I really wanted because it's nice and bright out and I was like, I just, oh, I just looked in the viewfinder. I look like a thumb, <laughs> gosh. Anyways, uh, I just wanna stay in and have a chill night because tomorrow is another chill day Sunday and then we go to Amsterdam as in, I go to Amsterdam with a couple of people for our next campaign shoot, literally 24 hours. So you guys are coming with me. Good morning. We are just about to head off to church here. You can hear the chaos in the background. I'm on third day hair and I genuinely think shorter hair and a little bit of dry shampoo. My hair lasts way longer and still looks really full. The wow products, the color wow, raise the root in the volume mousse, so good. Lips and cheeks are coming out at the end of, by the time this is up, this month or the start. It's like that uh, changeover week, end of May, beginning of June. So 
so very exciting and I'll show you my outfit. I have had this dress for years from Pretty Lavish, I believe. And it's just a cute little blue number. And then this little silver bag, I got it like two years ago uh, from River Island and I've never worn it. And I was like, oh, I should wear it. And then nothing new here. My old faithful is from Topshop, so that is the look. Good morning. We're at the airport, Dublin. I look horrendous, but <laughs> horrendous. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> we're we're so off we're to Amsterdam for our Pearl Beauty shoot. <laughs> we made it to Amsterdam. Damn. <laughs> Outside. No, don't worry. We can't say. Oh, now we can. Great <laughs> day. We, we are at the most beautiful apartment from our friend Daniela, who's actually a Torontonian. Getting spruced up so we can go out and check out the area, take a couple photos, and we're going to come back, get full ready with like proper photos from Maddie. Maddie, say hi. Hi. <laughs> He's working. <laughs> He's working. <laughs> and then we have dinner tonight with everyone involved, the models and us four. We are all ready to go to dinner. We have one of the new products on. Bethany has one. Taryn and her husband doing some work over here. We are gonna take our time like walking to dinner and get like cute shots as we're walking. And then we're meeting at the models, Katie and Whitney. Have a nice little team dinner powwow. And then it's a very early, early morning start at the Tulip Gardens tomorrow. Right now, focus on me doing me. Gotta watch step on the tight rope. I never fall off this night way. No one's people trying to see me down real bad. Same ones trying to be where I'm at now. Same ones trying to figure how I got here. I've been serving my pop, bitch. Shaking my sauce, been writing these songs since 48 key drops. Tell me when to go, how you think I'm finna stop. I be protecting my inner child. You could keep all of that distance. They be hating on me because they see I'm gifted. It's all for the soul. Okay, right, we have made it to Celia's in Amsterdam. Got the team here Maddie, Bethany, Katie, and Taryn. Just waiting for the models tomorrow, which are Whitney and Katie. So if I remember to vlog at dinner, I'll show you. If not, catch up at home. <laughs> okay, so everything worked out perfectly. We got to the Fam Flower Farm outside of Amsterdam. We shot for an hour and a half straight. And I'll show you the photos when they're ready. But oh, look at this place, you guys. I'll put some more information below of how you book in, but Think they're actually done for this year so you're gonna have to wait till 2024 cannot recommend enough absolutely stunning we are just going for a little walk to get coffee maddie has over 2,000 pictures to go through <laughs> but we had a great time i obviously showed you the field which i'll share a little bit more when i get home of like how we booked it where it is everything but we're just gonna grab coffee and then we have to get our flight it was a short 24 hours, but honestly, got a little teary-eyed because it was better than what I could have ever expected, so I'm really happy. Guys, deja vu. Hey. Made it back to Dublin. Deja vu. <laughs> a little bit of a different setup, but we're back from Amsterdam. Great trip. Team did amazing. Didn't expect anything less. Oh, I'm gonna have to slow that down and do it again. <laughs> I'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry for the background noise, Patty's in the back <laughs> cleaning the fridge, I'm not complaining. I just got some organizers in the mail from Klossy, Klossy Co on Instagram and they sent me their like ultimate fridge organization bundle and first of all, I don't think our fridge is big enough for all of this but you could use them in other areas of the house. Oh, excuse me, but I'm very excited. It's inspired me to like get that fridge organized and we genuinely have 70 percent sauces in our fridge and so many bottles of whipping cream because gene and peter always come over and bring dessert for family fridays and they always bring a can of whipping cream so we have three in there we squirt never cream. use it they call it squirt cream here which grosses me out anyways that's what i'm doing this afternoon but i honestly had the most stressful slash enjoyable slash rewarding trip to Amsterdam. I had this vision of shooting the four more multi-purpose sticks, which is the next launch. And because they're more color, 
there was just something in the tulip fields that I felt like really would pop them for photos. And so ever since, I would say like a year, I was like, this is definitely what I want. How long do you think I've been talking about this, Patty? Before more? Yeah, no, like the tulip fields, like oh. shooting it. Ages, ages. Didn't know how I was gonna do it, but I just knew they had to be in the tulip fields and I don't know, everything else had to come um, into play. So this January, when we kind of knew the timeline was like, it's a very small window with the tulip fields in Amsterdam, literally like the month of April, beginning of May, and then they're gone. They're literally gone. So it was all kind of had to line up with when we could get samples of the actual products because we don't even have them yet. They come in a couple of weeks, like final, so that we can launch, but we needed obviously samples for the photo shoot. So it was kind of all pending on that. We were able to get them. I literally booked flights only two weeks ago for the team and I and the apartment like today is wednesday you guys are going to be watching this on thursday but the apartment the models the field it all came together like in 48 hours like one of the girls katie she's from here and lives over there so that was great she was on board to model for us and then we found a girl via instagram whitney oh my goodness amazing but also like she doesn't obviously know about Pearl Beauty or who we are or anything, so she had to just trust that we were like legit people. So that just came into play and getting to these fields, I had booked Fam Flower Farm, which is stunning. You can go to Cro Crocono, I believe, is like the advertised tulip field, but it's not necessarily tulip fields. It's like a tulip garden and it's definitely more, it's like the advertised tourist one so you can go from the airport and it's just very um it's like really big and it's all different sections and it's not like someone's garden of tulips where fam flower farm are these two friends that went into business together and created like i can't even show you i'll show you some pictures while i'm talking here but pictures don't even do it justice at how big it is first of all but also just how beautiful and vibrant but i thought i had booked the tickets because you only get two weeks to visit this specific farm and only two or three days so like there's six slots that you can genuinely book this farm and i thought i had booked it and on sunday the day before we're flying out can't find confirmation must have just not proceeded the whole way anyways long story short message message them being like is there any way like we're flying we booked this entire thing and they were so dead on 8 p.m the night before we were driving to the field. <laughs> they were like, here's the link, don't worry. Um, come in the morning, 9 a.m. The taxi to get there was 230 euro, 210 euro, so definitely rent a car or go from the airport, a lot cheaper. Don't go from Amsterdam to the tulip fields because they make the money in that way because there is no other transportation way, <laughs> ways of getting to those fields. Um, obviously, this is only applying to people that care about the tulip fields in Amsterdam, so if not, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. <laughs> um, so yeah, once we got there, it's like all this stress came to a head and just left and just looking at the fields, we got a perfect day for shooting. We hashed it all out in an hour and a half. You're going to those fields like for photos, like there was a lot of couples doing photo shoots and little family ones or just friends. Like it is just breathtaking and the photos are even better than I could have ever imagined. I put a little sneak peek on my Instagram the other day and I don't think I've ever received so many complimentary like responses to that just at wow and i i just am so happy that the team pulled it out we all worked together so well i think we worked even better because we knew it was such a short time turnaround but also because i had this like real intense strong vision that i just really wanted and it it was better than i could have ever imagined so I'll leave their Instagram down below. It's obviously closed now, so 2024. Definitely book like a month in advance, you're fine with that, but they have only a couple of slots um, each day for those two weeks that they do open, but absolutely recommend it. Just don't get an Uber from downtown Amsterdam. Do it on the day you arrive and get an Uber from the airport because it'll probably save you a good amount of money. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'm gonna now edit it and clean out this Bridge, so follow me on Instagram if you want to see the organization upcycle, huh? Transformation, transformation, that's what it is. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.